Okay, not sure if I'm going the right direction. So we have two tasks now. Oh, I can't look at my map. Well, I've got my fishing pole out. Let's just drop it on the ground here. Search the lakeside for bear tracks. Oh, so we're not going fishing anymore. Well, we're heading in the right direction, it looks like. Pick up our fishing pole. It's important that we walk around with our fishing pole like this. Yep, it's a fishing pole. Can't believe Henry doesn't have a license. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, did I turn around? Oh, here we go. The hell was that? Can I go fishing? I can't go fishing. All right. Well, let's put it away then, I guess. And, um, we'll look for some tracks. Search the lakeside for bear tracks. That's what we're doing. We're looking for bear tracks. I don't really know what bear tracks look like. So hopefully they'll be pretty obvious. Oh, hey look. Clipboard. What's this all about? What's going on here? What the... What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, huh? have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. What? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Locate strange Henry. noise toward canyon. I'm worried. What the hell? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. All right, she needs to shut up for a minute. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? All right, shut oh, up. God. I don't know why I just called you that. All right, shut up. 63189 2F I guess 2 forks 64 front row seat biggest fire of year really going 12:15 a.m. I don't talk to other lookouts as much as I talk to you not in the same way feelings for 2 hours maybe just drunk rainbow strikes what's a rainbow strike nexus 3 times weekly 2 forks and JL. I'm not sure what JL is. We got some fire roots. Seven. Here's something from July. D. Delilah said, Would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? And Henry said, Absolutely. She said, Me too. And then this guy decided to put in Me three. If I pick this up, can I read it? Um, no. Oh, come on. I can't read that thing now? Um, what the hell? I can't pick any of these things anyway. Ugh, this thing is not the best. I wanted to read more of that. Locate strange noise towards canyon. Radio. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shithouse. What? We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. Will do. Pick up. What, what the... What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> oh, crap. The hell? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? 
What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Hmm. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. What do you mean? I know what I saw. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there well i meant like kill anybody you got it boss <laughs> okay that was pretty unexpected <laughs> holy cow i felt that let's see Wapiti station so we're gonna walk around the lake here and we're going to walk up north to Wapiti Station. That's what we're going to do. And I think this is the path we take right here. These little flowers here? I guess. Those are kind of weird looking. Okay, that's kind of a weird effect. There's a cache. Did I look in this cache already? Uh, I'm going to say I did since it's not locked. There, there's that old sweater again. Alright, nothing I need in here. I'll keep going this way. Those are great sound effects. Uh, now what? Oh, I'm over here. Alright, I need to go back to the trail. Man. I doubt there was anything I could have done to uh, avoid getting hit by that um, person. I mean, we heard the stick crack right before. That was pretty cool. And we looked to the right and then wham, got hit in the head. Okay, let's make sure this is the way I want to go. Yes. All right. Hook a rope. And... Down we go. Hopefully some, somebody, some psycho won't show up there and cut our rope. But I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. It's a pretty tree. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I thought we'd be able to jump across there, but I guess not. Oh, there's a fence. No trespassing. What? Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. 
What, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. <laughs> okay, get through the fence. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. What's that right there? There's a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Well, here's a gate. Do we mark the fence on our map? Yes. Gate! Alright, here we go. Shove. Oh, it is locked. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. Ooh. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. What about what if I just use this stone? If I just use this, use rock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, look at the speed of this guy. I think it's funny that they put these rocks here to kind of give you false hope that you could break through. Use rock. You know, that's good because r really, if that's a halfway decent lock at all, there's no way that a rock is going to break through it. I would have been a little, little disappointed. US code 18 US code 1863. Can't we ask her about it? What does that code mean or is it just simple, simply a no trespassing code? Whoppity. Okay. <laughs> well, isn't this interesting? <laughs> All right, let's look at our map. Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Holy cow, Ruby River's all the way down there. Gee whiz. All right, well, um, wow, that's a long way from here. Um, man. Well, there's no fast travel points in this game. I guess we'll find our way back. Fence. Fence. I think I could climb over that fence pretty easily, really. I mean, come on. I think pretty much all of us watching this could climb over that fence without too much trouble. Doesn't look too bad. Go down this way. Actually, this is the way we came, isn't it? Um, well, there's only one way. Somebody stacked some rocks here. Suspicious. All right, let's climb up. Luckily, our rope is still here. Otherwise, we'd be screwed. We'd be kind of trapped down here. Okay. This way, I think. All right, now we're back here at this creek in Thunder Canyon. What would be the quickest way to get there? Let's go down Thunder Canyon, it looks like. Um, man. Well, Scout Camp. Why do they have to be way down there? So, I haven't been to Cache 302, and I haven't been to Cache 308. I really want to go to Cache 302, even though it's way out of the way. 
This game's moving pretty quick, it seems like, all of a sudden. I don't want to miss my opportunity to look in that cache. So... <laughs> oh, we got some music playing here. Thunder Candy music. It's quite nice. Climb. Okay, where am I now? Here. Okay. Let's keep on trucking. Trying not to get our boots wet. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Uh, anything strange with you? Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really, or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other hmm. night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. Alright, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, w what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Mm. Well, intercepting our frequency. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I thought it was pretty obvious that's what was happening. Because when we saw that red radio laying there on the ground, and when she spoke, I could have swore I saw a red light show up on the radio. And I thought that we heard her on that radio as well. Did you think that also? That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do this. But I'm going to go north here because I want to go up to that cache and see if I can get to it. And it probably really won't take that long. You know, it looks far on the map, but um, if we run, we'll probably get there in no time. So that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of rush up here real quick. And uh, nobody needs to know. Delilah doesn't need to know. Not that it's a big secret or anything, but... Um, you know, we said we were going back to camp, but uh, we're actually going in kind of the opposite direction. If I could find it. Oh, we still have a ways to go. All right, let's keep going. All right, game. It's awfully quiet out here. So now we're back here at this outhouse and that burned cabin over there. Okay. And where is it? There it is up there. How do I get to it? This isn't another one that I can't get to yet, is it? Ooh, maybe up and around here. Yeah, this should work. Hopefully. Let's try this. Hopefully we won't run into a bear. Alright. Here we go. Cash. So I've been told I could just type in the key... the code on the keyboard that is considerably faster. All right, supply cache. Here is a map. This is pretty eroded. Recommend leaving through mule points. Okay. Chisler Hill. All right. So copy information to our map. Okay, map updated. Here's a note. Take the notes. Read the notes. 
This is from July 30th, 1986. Dave, hey yo, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos profesionales. If you need something to throw a case back with, oh, I'm sorry, if you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it. Later, Ron. Okay. All right, let's hold on to that note as well. Here, a board. Haha, -ha. look at that. Drop. Six feet down under. Yeah. All right. I'm taking this book with me. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gone for good. <laughs> we can just leave that board there. That's fine. I guess that's the fire. Well, it is time for me to break here, so I think I'm just going to sit here and read my book a little bit. Six Feet Down Under by Richard Sturgeon. The critics rave over crime by the numbers. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we will go ahead. Uh, let me draw my map here, or my book here. We will uh, go ahead and um, head south from here. Here we are. Head south from here. Uh, go back to our camp. Holy cow, it's a long way away. Check in at our camp, make sure everything's okay. And then. We'll head south from there and go down to scout camp unless something else comes up. Make sure you tune in to find out what happens. I sure do hope you've enjoyed this play session. I've enjoyed playing it. If you have enjoyed, uh, why don't you let me know by uh, leaving me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you will join me again in the next episode.